B spaces and B closed sets. This presentation is almost entirely based on the paper by Bunpok and Prapart Puon, so you may look uh, to the bibliography for the original article. Uh, well, it's a well-known fact that modern mathematicians, modern topologists, that they study some spaces that contain um, two or sometimes three or even more topologies. Even on this channel we've already mentioned B, tree, quad, penta and even hexatopological spaces. Sometimes uh, such constructions are useful, sometimes they are rather artificial, but be as it may, there are also some other inventions of this kind, of this kind like B-minimal or B-weak structures. And moreover, um, um, at the end of the past year, um, I collaborated on the paper about Anti, uh, about anti-B-topological spaces, yes, or B-anti-topological spaces, as you wish. Perhaps it will be published um, at, in uh, this year. However, there is also another and maybe even more interesting direction. To assume that we have two structures that belong to, um, in some sense, to different classes. For example, we may consider a space mm, that is equipped both with, say, minimal structure as we know, minimal structures are those families that contain uh, at least empty set and uh, the whole universe. And are, then we are free to, to impose any additional conditions. So minimal structure and generalized topology. That is a family that is closed under arbitrary unions. As you know, such spaces have been extensively studied, for example, by Mashur or by uh, Akos Chasov from Hungary. So these are so-called generalized topology and minimal structure spaces investigated by Buadong, Viryapong and Bunpok. But another structure of this kind, investigated and defined by Bunpok and Prapart Puan, and this is the matter of this video, is B-space. Well, they just used this shortcut. B-space that is defined as a triple, okay, where we have non-empty universe and when we have generalized topological space, and when we have, where we have um, omega, that is a weak structure. Weak structures defined by Chasser are families that contain at least empty set. And then we are free to add any other sets to this family. So these are indeed very weak structures. So these are our own examples of such spaces. Our own because um, the paper lacks of examples. Uh, you can analyze them. For example, here we have very simple finite universe ABC. We have some generalized topology. It's closed under uh, unions. It's not closed under intersections, as you can see. And here we have some um, rather arbitrary weak structure. Note that our generalized topology mu, in this case, it is an example of strong generalized topology. So, so-called supratopology in the sense of Mashur. So it means that the whole universe is in this generalized topology. Um, in the second case, we have four we have four elements. We have some generalized topological space, or rather, some generalized topology imposed on this space, and then we have some weak structure. In particular, in fact, it is a minimal structure. But of course, each minimal structure is a weak structure too. This is obvious. Another example. Um, we have real line, our generalized topology contains empty set and all those subsets of real line that are not singletons. Uh, it's easy to check uh, that uh, unions of such sets are of the same form and uh, their intersections not necessarily. And some weak structure that contains empty set and interval 0, 1, which is open on both sides. Why not? We say, and this is the definition proposed by Bumpok and the second author, we say that A is contained in X, uh, that if A is contained in X, then it's B closed if, now uh, we must be careful, if the, clo the omega closure of A, so with respect to this weak structure, the intersection of all those sets which are uh, open in which are closed in, in in the sense of this weak structure and A is contained in them. 
So the omega closure of A is contained in U for any U that is open in the sense of generalized topology mu and A is contained in this U. Okay? So for any mu open set U such that A is contained in U, omega closure of A is contained in U too. As always, the complement of such set is called B open. The authors proved several initial and somewhat interesting theorems in their paper. For example, we have the following formula, uh, the following you know, proposition. If A is B closed, then the difference between the difference between uh, omega closure of A and A, so omega closure of A minus A, does not contain any non-empty mu closed set. We may even analyze the proof. Why not? So suppose this this will be you know indirect reasoning. Um, suppose that F is a mu closed set such that it's contained in omega closure of A minus A. Besides, there is a mistake in the paper. They used mu here, yes. But from the context, it, clear, it is clear that it should be omega closure of A minus A. If so. If f is mu closed, then its complement with respect to our universe f, uh, universe x, must be mu open. This is clear. Moreover, if some x belongs to f, then uh, from this uh, assumption it does not belong to a. So the whole a is contained, in particular, in, uh, in the complement of f. Moreover, by assumption, a is b closed. Hence, by the very definition of B closed sets, that let us recall this definition that omega closure of A is contained in any mu open set such that A is contained in this mu open set. So now x minus f plays the role of U. Okay, so omega closure of A is contained in x minus f. But if so, then clearly by you know by set theoretical operations, f must be contained in x minus omega closure of A, in the complement of omega closure of A. So, f is contained both in, in the complement of omega closure of A and in omega closure of A. Well, in some sense it's possible, but this uh, intersection is empty. So the only possible uh, result is that f must be empty too. There are several other theorems. We 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 leave you the uh, all the proofs are contained in the original paper of the authors, uh, so you may check them. The next theorem, for example, tells us that A is B closed if and only if. Now check this: mu closure of any singleton uh, of of any x that belongs to omega closure of A. That intersection of this mu closure with A is non-empty. Okay. Moreover, we may prove that A is B closed if A is B closed, and A is contained in some B. But this B is contained in omega closure of A, then B is B closed too. So a kind of restricted closure under supersets in some sense, but restricted. Analogously, if A is B open and interior of A omega interior, this is important, is contained in some B, but this B is contained in our A, then B is B open too. So a kind of restricted closure under subsets. And the next theorem uh, is analogous to the definition of B closed it sets. It says that A is now not B closed, but B open if and only if F is contained in omega interior of A, wherever F is mu closed and contained in A. So if we have some mu closed set which is contained in our A, then if our A is B open, then it means, then it's equivalent to say that F must be contained in omega interior of A. Omega was our weak structure. Finally, we obtain characterization of a certain class of spaces, namely the following two properties are equivalent. Every subset of X is B closed, every subset of our universe, if and only if, for every mu open set, uh, mu open subset U, 
omega closure of u is contained in u. Now you could say that if u is contained in omega closure of u, and this is uh, this is obvious property, and moreover, omega closure of u is contained in u, then of course it means that uh, u is uh, identical with its omega closure. So we could say that it is closed in the sense of omega, but not necessarily. In those weak spaces like infratopologies, like minimal structures, like weak structures, like antitopologies, the fact that some set is identical with its closure, or it does not necessarily mean that it's closed with respect to this to the structure. The same with interior. The fact that A is like interior of A does not necessarily mean that A is, say, omega open. Um, then the authors formulate several separation axioms in this environment, in this setting, but this is beyond the scope of this video. Uh, maybe we will go back to this topic later in the next videos. Unfortunately, mm, this is uh, some disadvantage, undoubtedly, that their paper does not contain any examples of B spaces, well, we invented several examples at the beginning, and B closed or B open sets. So there are only theorems about those sets, but there are no any examples unfortunately. Hence, we encourage the reader, of course, to find, to look for such examples and maybe counterexamples. And as always, there is some bibliography here. This paper that we, well, reviewed here is this one. And there are some other papers on weak structures, on minimal structures by Maki, Umehara and Noiri, about generalized topologies by Chassar, and about generalized topology and minimal structures by this Thai team Wadong Viryapong Bunpok. Thank you very much for your attention as always.